Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Monday Moment of Envy. And once again, we're choosing an image from our Facebook listeners group. So if you guys seen the Photog Adventures listeners group or you're not a part of it yet, go on there, post your adventure, post your picture and let us see it. And maybe we'll pick you as one of our Monday Moment of Envies. And this week, Brendan's picking someone. Who'd you pick, man? Yeah, today we're getting a picture from Rob Lord. He is a guy from New South Wales and he's got a cool Milky Way picture. And I'll tell you a little bit about what he said about it. Oh, right um, on. He says it's a local historical homestead at Tokol, New South Wales, about an hour's drive from Newcastle. I'm guessing he lives in Newcastle area. It says it contains a large dam with a dividing fence, which seems to disappear midway into its eastern side. You can, can, you can see it in the image, too, as the fence kind of starts fading into the water. It's pretty cool. Yeah, um, that's pretty neat. He says, I was drawn back to the location during a recent new moon to investigate the photographic potential but was disappointed with the amount of light pollution from the nearby town. And you can see that's very bright. Oh, but it's, yeah. But I like that because it actually brings out some really cool silhouettes, which is kind of cool. So he says, still happy with the end result, which included some light painting from some uh, lighting positioned about 90 degrees from the fence, which is great. You can see how it's lit really well on the fence there. And then he has his information from his camera uh, and his lens and stuff like that. So his settings are is a Nikon D7100. And the Sam Yang 16 millimeter f 2.0. So the Sam Yang and the Rokinon are the same. So Rokinon 16 millimeter, Sam Yang millimeter, 16 millimeter, same. Um, the ISO is 1600, 20 second exposure, and he did 10 images in two rows. So he actually did some stacking and some pano on this. Oh, right on. So he did so, edited and stitched solely in Lightroom. So right on. Awesome. So yeah. what makes you pick this? You've already mentioned a few things that are strong points in this image. Yeah. What made it stick out in your mind as something we can be envious of for this week? Well, it's just that awesome Milky Way core is just so like different in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's <laughs> and he did such a great job. The composition in general is really good too. I mean, he's got a good solid half Milky Way, half ground and half grounded lake reflection, light bloom. And even though there's a light bloom and it's kind of you know, we try to avoid light pollution. Still, the Milky Way is way above the light pollution, showing nice and clear. He did a great job lighting the fence. There's just a lot of technical things I like about it. And plus, it's just a really pretty picture to look at. Yeah, I look at this picture and I think about how awesome it is. The light pollution helps his horizon. All these trees mm -hmm. and bushes and this one big tree all along the horizon would have no shape against the black. But because it's over here against that white, it has a shape. Yeah. And it's really fantastic. I mean, the one object that breaks the plane is this tree. And the cool part about this tree is that this tree has a reflection yeah. of it in the water, bringing yeah. the only thing that breaks the visual plane of this area, too. Because we have all these features here, but then something stretches out and even touches the fence. And so composition-wise, he planned it very well with the mm -hmm. posts that are going and doing a vanishing point in the distance. So you get that line that carries you from the very bottom of the frame up to the middle almost to the top th almost to the bottom third line because if you were to separate this in thirds that fence it terminates it is no longer visible at the bottom third and then the second third is all edge of the water reflection and then the silhouettes up against the white 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 light pollution area and so that second third all the interest is in that horizon mm -hmm. it's narrow but it's all right there and it's interesting and then the top third you get that awesome like you said that southern hemisphere milky way bulge those of you who've gone out for a milky way here in the northern hemisphere you guys have seen what brendan and i see that this part right here where it has almost an x shape it has like a little two like a little v of black that's pointing straight down that is typically on top of our core. And we've experienced that in our Milky Way. And when we start to see that, we know that that's where the core is. And to see it like this and in reverse, it's so confusing and it blows our mind sometimes in this complete difference that we have between hemispheres. Yeah, it's really cool. And the other thing I like about it is the color scheme that he chose, the, the toning of the image is that really nice, like um, James Kelly had said, he's, he says, epic, I love the orange calming feel. And I do too, I like the way that the orange kind of golden glow at the bottom. And then it just kind of emphasizes the contrast of that, which is like more of a bluish tone towards the sky and the, and the night sky it looks really awesome together. Yeah, he's got basically four colors of like a black, a white, a, well, I should say more color, but he has this monochromatic scheme mm -hmm. of these copper tones, yellowish tones with white and gray to black. I mean, everything is a version of that. Yeah. You can look at this image and everything carries together well. As you see this image small, you see it 
you see it stand out from images around it because it doesn't have an identity crisis with the hues. The hues are very controlled and very connected, and they all complement each other. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a great image overall. Um, good job, Rob. This is a fantastic image, and we're glad we could host it today on our Moment of Envy. Yeah, man. Rob, I'm glad you wrote your story on it with it so that when you post on Photog Adventures listeners that we have that story so we can go into it. It was really cool to hear that at this time of year, that Milky Way too is just so level. Isn't it mm-hmm. bizarre? You get this weird flat Milky Way and it starts out vertical in the night and as it goes down towards the end of the morning, it's vertical horizontal like this. And so to see mm-hmm. what this Milky Way is doing, this has got to be towards early morning. I don't know exactly what time he took it, but I'm guessing between 1 and 4 a.m. So he was out very late to get this shot to look like this. Awesome. Another another last bit of feature of the composition is that you have these shapes that are horizontal, and you have these three shapes that are in the image, the horizontal horizon of the land, horizontal Milky Way, and then that horizontal line of the water going around the bushes and the trees. And then you break through them a little bit with that fence and you break through it with the reflection as you connect the reflection of that tree together. And then you break through that line with the shape of the Milky Way. So you have these horizontal lines and then you're also keeping them from being completely boring and flat. And so I, I think if he was thinking about that at all, he made a great choice in where he put the height of his tripod because it could have been completely mm. different in the foreground, but the background would have been the same. And he made the background and foreground work together really well. Yeah. To, All yeah, right. Totally. Awesome. Any more points that you want to add on here before we go? No, I think it's just fantastic. That's one thing that really stuck out to me. And uh, yeah, we're awesome. We're, we're, we think it's awesome that we can feature someone from the land down under. So <laughs> good job, Rob. That's right. Well done, Rob. Good job, everybody. If you want to get your pictures p- featured, just make sure you're posting your adventures over on the Facebook listener group and we will feature them if we find them something that we are envious of and jealous of your location or jealous of your situation. So thanks, guys. We'll see you next Monday. Okay, see you guys. It is dark outside. It is dark. <laughs> oh. oh, there it is. <laughs> wow.